Well, I always loved cars, and I became a collector by buying cars and never selling them. And then one day, Andrea Paninfrina came to me and said, look, Jim, you collect cars. Why don't you commission a car from Paninfrina? And I thought about it, and I said, okay, here's what I want to do. I want you to take my uh, P3 Ford that won the 24 Hours of Daytona, and I want you to make a modern interpretation of it on the best Ferrari supercar chassis, which at the time was the Enzo. After that, I began thinking, hey, could I race this car? Could I make a race version of it? And I went to the Nürburgring, and they said, well, what do you want to do? I said, I want to make a car that looks like Ferrari P45, but is a race legal car. And they said, sure, no problem. Now, they later told me that every year, six people come to them and tell them they're going to do it, and no one has ever done it. Um, but a year later, we showed up with a car that was uh, basically a Ferrari P45 Competizione. And we started racing, and we did really well. And then, you know, Ferrari, one of their copyright lawyers called me and said, look, Jim, you're trading on our name. You have the Ferrari badge on the car, and the only reason people are letting you race is because it's a Ferrari, and, um, you know, we want something for that. And I said, guys, I bought a Ferrari. I modified it. It is a Ferrari, legally. However, I don't want you to be unhappy. And I designed the logo for us. So I took the, stat the torch from the Statue of Liberty, the red, white, and blue flags, S is Scuderia, stands for racing team. C is my wife, Cameron, and I'm Blickenhaus. So he called it SCG, and I took off their badge, and I put my handmade badge on it on YouTube. Ten million people watched that YouTube video, and that was the birth of Scuderia Cameron Blickenhaus. Then I said, you know what? What about building the car from the ground up? The entire car. And that became SCG-003. And my brief on this car was, what if we took the most hyper-technical cars in the world, the LMP1 cars, and envisioned it as a road-going GT car? And the sister car to this was a race car. We raced the 24 hours of Nürburgring. We won in class. We did very well. We raced it again. And then I developed it into a road-legal car. And that's what this car is. And you know, we did things that the rule books allow that other people didn't do. Even simple things like the wood. This is FIA um, Formula One wood planking, it's EPI. If you scuff it, you hurt it, and planks run under the car, you're, you're hurting wood. It's $800. If you stuff the, the carbon fiber, it's much more. So I just try to make practical cars, and cars you could drive, cars you could use. I believe we're the only New York manufacturer. We're allowed to make 325 cars a year. We're going to make three models. This uh, very expensive, hand-built, maybe one or two a year, the 003S. And then we have a lower price car. Base price is about $400,000. It's a basic sports car. It's a real cool looking, looks sort of like Dino Competizione. It's available with a manual gearbox. And it's all carbon fiber. That one we're going to begin selling next year. And I'm going to make a modern version of the Steve McQueen Baja boot. Uh, which will be eligible to race in the Baja, drive on the road, and quite frankly, when you take your SCG boot to the Hamptons and you drive over the lawn, the guys with the Rolls-Royce Sport Utes and the Bentley Sport Utes better be get out of the way. You know, I used to direct movies, and the key to a successful movie is not being an actor, a cameraman, a lighting director, a prop designer, a set designer. It is bringing very talented people together and letting them all do their things. So, so I look at car building like I did directing film. We sell you a race car, you race it. When you're done racing, you take it down to the parts and we can sell you a kit that can convert it to road legal under home built laws. You build the car up or we put you in touch with people who can help you do that and then you take it to DMV, they inspect it, they see the headlights, the taillights, the brakes, and you get a VIN number and the car is road legal. If you want to buy a completely from the ground up road legal car, it's a little bit of a different car. So they're very safe, strong cars. I mean, if a car can go the 24 hours of Nuremberg, right? and it can take a 12G crash, which unfortunately one of our cars did, and be repaired, uh, quite frankly, you'll be fine on the West Side Highway.